and welcome to my channel this is Cindy from Moonfire Studios today I'm doing the flip through of a very large slip case three volume botanical junk journal set big mouthful for a big set <laughs> I had to film the opening separately so that you could see it all at once there's the side and the back again and the other side and the bottom little feet there's little studs on the leather strap that goes all the way around to contain all three volumes one two three the closure is this little um, clasp but I couldn't find a pin to go inside so true junk journal style it is a bobby pin with lots of beads secured onto it and they aren't going anywhere unless you actually pop them off so there's that And it opens up, and we'll put it this way. It has little spots that you can easily pull it in and out of with number one. I'm going to set that over there for now. And hopefully you can see everything. There are antique wooden buttons on all three for the closures to wrap around. There are glass beads, most of which are vintage. Unravel and we begin. I will show you most of it, but not completely all of it so that there are still a few surprises. I know some people dislike surprises, but, you know, there you have it. Here's a little vellum envelope flip out. I tried to leave lots of writing spaces and use extra ephemera, leave extra ephemera in there for you to decorate some things on your own. Piece of lace. I've used Latin names on everything, and if you want to know what it says, look it up, please. This envelope's empty so that you can add bits and bobs of your own, photos, notes, etc. I've also used various kits in here, and I will try to link all of them below. See, here's an extra piece of ephemera that you can choose what to do with. It does tear apart should you choose to do so. I've made it like it's a botanist style. Like this is one that they would use to jot down things and draw things in and for memorabilia from the field. <laughs> Mm 
Little apothecary tags, labels, a little tag for journaling on. This is a giant stamp that was embossed. Another little birdie tag. You can flip it around should you choose to do so. Lots of little fussy cuts in places. I love this um, twine ribbon, like a netted ribbon. Some book pages. Of course, wax seals, because we all know how I love wax seals. Another vintage button. Sewn in. Piece from an old calendar. A little burlap strap belly band. Some journaling cards. This one I put lines on for you. This is the softest paper I have ever felt. I hope you will like it too. It's supposed to go like that actually. So that's a hidden little extra pop. A little clip. The seeds label is double sided and attached so should you try it, decide to make it pop up like that you can still have some decoration. And this oh, just a little little secret writing space and a little tiny tag holder for you to put the one that you choose on and that goes there and then this is an envelope flip a little tuck spot here with a little coupon ticket this flips up this flips down. There is some little treasures tucked in places. A book page and a little note card. Also some writing spaces or spaces for photos. Little pockets in here, a handmade glassine envelope that holds a little, um, it's one of those little cigarette, um, labels, I believe. Also vintage. Uh, that one particular one came from the Ukraine. And in this one, the pocket is on the other side. And just a neat little space to, this is coffee stained, neat little place to write some notes, put extra ephemeras, have some little pictures, even sketch on. And that goes back together, however you would like. And just clips closed. Some printed on vellum sepia pages. Little embossed and a doily little note card section. Again, these are crystal and glass. And this one is a little vintage pearl. All of the beads are vintage in this book. 
all three sets. A little bit of happiness. This is a little vellum flip out with some botanical pictures. Some are colored in, some are left for you to choose to color if you should do so, want to do so. A little pocket with some journaling cards. Ones like this are backed onto recycled paper or cardstock. A little machine stitching around some. A lovely songbird page. This has a little bit of lilac sheen to it. I'm not sure if you can see that or not with the camera. Try to rotate things so you can catch glimpses. Some more little apothecary labels, which you can do some little mini journaling or put some of those little mini thumbnail pictures on the back. This is a freebie from Calico Collage. Little tags. Stencil. I'll get some stenciling. A large journaling tag with some machine stitching around. And a little bit of fussy cut flowers. I believe these are from Angela Kerr's flowers in her Etsy shop. A little bulb pin with a vintage button on it. There's that. The other page, other half of the book page. Some little faux, um, gosh, what are they called now? Specimen cards. Little faux specimen card. Some printed paper. Again, printed vellum with sepia already on it. And the last page of the first volume has this has been fussy cut and stuck on and a little secret pouch for some tags or some little goodies that you may find on your ventures and this is the end of volume one and that goes sits right back in the slip case volume two. I left this blank in case you want to decorate it yourself with any extra ephemeras or drawings. More glass beads. Again, a vintage button. And I love this butterfly. I think it's from Calico Collage, but I'm not entirely certain. Again, I used several different printable kits for elements. It's all coffee dyed paper. I love this tag. It's really pretty with the extra coordinating ribbon, machine stitching, recycled paper. Some little replicas. And I love this die. I believe it's from Paper Discovery. Olga Direktorenko. Uh, that's her line. Little bobble from Tim Holtz. Little rub on. And this is from Old Design printables and I colored it in did it around some stickers from oops sorry about that not much room with this um, big thing on my island here some stickers and pieces from um, your creative um, ephemera box kits this is really pretty printable Again, some more fussy cuts. 
a stencil from Lavinia Stamps. This one has two pockets. Which this one, um, but here's this on gold vellum, and that just will slide right in there. A little journaling cards. These are nice and strong for um, photos or if you want to do some mixed media on it. Lovely mushroom page. Some more of that burlap ribbon. This one has gold threads woven throughout the whole thing. I don't know, again, if that's shining through. A handmade button that I used with some botanical fabrics. Another calendar page, reused. Nice little belly band on this one. And this whole thing comes out. This flips open, this flips up, this flips around. So lots of places to put little secret notes, little photos of the same event or different events. And then here's what the outside or backside looks like. Again, fold behind, fold down, fold over, and slide inside the belly band. This was done with some stenciling, or I believe it's a Crafter's Companion stencil. And some cut out letters, I think those are Spellbinder dies piece of um, wallpaper trim. <clears throat> Some fussy cut flowers. Uh, again, I believe from Angela Kerr designs. Uh, these are Tim Holtz cutouts. This one I inked up, roughed up, distressed up, and put some faux rivets on it. They're actually Tim Holtz brads. In the center of the second volume, you have another vellum envelope. This time it is in green and glass beads with a little craft envelope. Opens up. This one has a little bit of something in it, a skeletal leaf and some double-sided um, duplex mulberry paper. You can either leave it in there or do something cool with it. Tear it up, put it in some pages. Um, if you do tear it up, I recommend, like, say you want this little piece, take a paintbrush, dip it in some water, run a line of water down there, and then pull it apart versus tearing it. It makes it a lot easier, and you get a lot nicer, natural-looking edge to it. It also can be cut with scissors, a die cut, and your paper trimmer. And that just slides right back in there. Another piece of beautifully printed on vellum. Then this side, you have a larger journaling tag area. and a narrow area. And this is just on the other side of the wallpaper border. And this little guy opens up. I love this fuzzy little ribbon, furry. Um, this is a little decoupage layered up flower that I did. And there's a little bitty tag in there. Again, on some tea stained paper. Not tea, coffee. This one's all coffee. And just tie that one back up. Very 
There you go. And this one has two purposes. It has a little, like a coin envelope closure with fold outs. So you can clip things to the inside. I just have a few pieces of little ephemera leaves, suede paper. This one's suede paper with some gold embossing powder on it. A little vellum sticker that you can write on. So you can either paper clip things to it or you can use it as a fold over tuck spot like so. But this is a tiny pocket and just some graph paper that you can choose to doodle on, stamp on, um, put some photos on, whatever you want. And that one goes there. And these, this is one of those little um, paper clips that has the bevel top on it with some um, purple mica inks and some crushed rose petals and some glossy accents put on top to make it stay and shiny. Again, tried to think of things that a botanist might collect or make in finds or remembrances. And you can just close that up however you want. This one has a little copper bead. It's a really pretty printable. And flip that over and there's a little mini bulldog clip type thing. It just goes right there. And some glass beads. This one has swirls and glitter in it. The swirl is really pale pink with gold glitter. This one is a green glass. So we just kind of untuck that and you can tie it back however you like. This is the back and this is the front. This was a Spellbinders die that I just embossed instead of cut the interior to give it a little bit of dimension. And you can wrap these however you like, tie them if you wish, cut them off if you choose to do so. Whoever buys it, it will be your book and do with it as you will. There you go. Again, another um, little calendar page. A really nice coffee dyed with a washi stamp. I love this little mushroom stamp. It is so cute. Another Old World Designs um, printable that I purchased. I made it bigger and just colored it in with some normal color blend pencils. This is a pocket, I believe, from Victoria Designs. And a little translucent button. And this opens, I let it open all the way up, um, but should you choose to do so, you can just run a bead of glue or some double-sided tape on these little tabs and it will stay as pockets. Um, there's a little leaf page that I put some luster wax on that shines a really lovely lilac color. It's very translucent. And this is a printout. And I did the botany definition on it. And this is another one of those super soft pieces of paper. And that just closes up like so. And 
some more burlap and I believe this is pressed wood fibers together to make some paper and this is like um really hard uh, fiber like they put some sizing or something on it to make it stay that way here's the other part of that Lavinia stencil that I inked in and I just left this one plain this is a really super soft paper again and a beautiful journaling card I love all the florals and mushrooms in this set uh, again, I think that's an Angela Kerr floral, a little bit of lace trim, a few more apothecary cards, a pocket inside of a pocket with a pocket or a little coin envelope, I guess it would be. And you just undo your bow. This one is from chapter one papers i believe and this has some extra <laughs> labels and someone posted on facebook yahoo some extra labels and little tag that you can put in places and the holes have reinforcement with little eyelets in there. So that envelope goes in, that pocket goes in, that pocket on that page. And you may hear a kitty cat or two depending on how loud they get. There's that. Love that flower design. I think these are from Victoria Designs. And another coffee. This one is a Strathmore Pastel um, text weight paper. So it has tooth to it. And you can also use paints on it without worrying about it going through so long as it's not, you know, super heavy duty. And a little mini booklet. Which is some journaling or photo spaces. And that tucks inside here. And there's just a an old book page. Some pretty flowers. I thought the vases were really pretty with the glass. Put that in there. And this flips over. And this envelope has a very beautiful actual pressed um, fern in it that I stitched to the card back. I'll let you be able to open that and see that for yourself. It has been coated on top with a sealant. So as long as you don't, you know, bend it, it will be fine. But you can touch all the flowers and things that I put inside of my journals. Journaling card tucks right back inside this. And I left the paper clip there so you can remember and see that there's something in there. A little tuck spot. And this one is a chapter one papers tag with a little abalone button on it. And some very fine, feels like muslin silk ribbon and a little postcard journaling card and 
with some little postcard postage stamp and these are actually washi stickers so you can peel these off and stick these in places should you choose to use them to decorate with and that is the last page of volume two this is more of the wood paper that is actually on the exterior of the slip cover slip case um, but it's been die cut and I inked it the little um, washi um, tab on there and that is volume two and you can see how I made the paper go in further so there's no raw edges on the slipcase. And that sits right back in that slot. And volume three. And I've been, these are pretty sturdy. Uh, these little ring clasps or um, ring brads. I can't remember exactly what they're called, but I've been pulling and pushing this back in um, this whole time by those and they haven't moved or torn or pulled out anything. Uh, the number three done in a tiny tag with the same wood paper and the last vintage wooden button and the glass beads. This one's really pretty. Reds and beige. And page one of volume three. And this one has the giant um, palm leaf binder clip on it. This has a little tuck spot. I did not put anything in there. Um, so you could choose what you wanted to go in there. And then this page wrap comes off completely. All of the seams of the three volumes are reinforced with washi tape and they are all sewn in as well with a five hole pamphlet stitch. And when you flip that over, you take the page wrap off. There's beautiful butterflies everywhere. This is what this one looks like and turn it around and there's some more pe little pieces of ephemera and places to write. This one flips up, has a fern stalk in it with all its mini leaves. Again, sealed so that you can feel the textures place for writing this one is the back of the seed pack the front of the seed pack with a little stamp on the back there's a little piece of ticket ephemera to go in goes back in there and as you can see there is something on the other side this is this side of the page wrap and this one opens up and there's a little bug inside ah! and this little vellum envelope flips up okay you can still see and this one has actual I'm not going to take those out but I've made actual um specimen cards to put in there you can see what's in there and the things in between are real no it's not more bugs um this one is a seed packet the seeds were obviously very old they probably will not germinate 
um, I may be able to actually get them to germinate, but I thought, what a fun shaker. And then this flips down. And then this envelope has things. Pull that out. It decorated the inside, so if you want to leave it plain for a while, you can. Um, Stampin' colored the little owl. Put one of my um, chapter one tab tabs on there that I love so much. Uh, this is a, another fussy cut element from um, Angela Kerr Designs. Another old piece of magazine tools, tricks, and techniques for you to read about if you want to. And that just slides right back in there. And down here, there's a little paper clip holding a few little pieces of ephemera. And that all gets clipped back. And just a little piece for you to put a, I don't know, stick a clover in you find, write about it, maybe put the date. Some more of those beautiful... Uh, fussy cut elements, a little pocket, and a little mini tag book, and this also comes out, and there's some little ephemera pieces in here that you can pull out and stick to things for labels or embellishments. Um, a vintage piece of lace for a belly band. These slide out just some little, you can stick it to a page if you want to, or you can write on the back dragonflies and others. That just goes in there. And then this pulls off the side. Just a rose gold paper clip with a bit of um, eyelash ribbon, some more ephemera pieces to do with as you will. And just stick like that. Some stamps randomly. A washi sticker of a four leaf clover. Another vintage book page or old book page. This envelope comes out of the belly band and it actually is a very long envelope. Um, this is a real piece of ivy, not the poisonous kind, the variegated kind. Again, it's sealed over and you can choose to um, Use the entire envelope. You can cut it down, but if you cut it down, there is a really nice goodie in there from the Ukraine. I believe it's in Russian, so if you know Russian, yay. If you don't, you probably have to Google Translate it. Um, a very delicate ribbon with a beautiful envelope. I don't think oh I did put I put some rose petals in here these are dried rose petals um, they are not sealed so they're for you to use with again as you will just some random pieces so remember fragile envelope fragile bow fragile inside that back in there and slide this back in here and I just kind of put that off to the side and use the paper clip to help it stay 
closed without flapping. And it also helps protect the rose petals inside. And I... Uh, this is a button that I got from... Victorian Gypsy Girl, I believe, where I get all of my sari silk and things. And a piece of fiber papers. Lots of fi layered fiber papers. And twine. An old ledger paper. Fussy cuts. This is, again, it's all coffee dyed. Um, these are real flower petals. They are sealed, but if you smush them really hard, they'll smush. So it's up to you. Like I can, I can press fairly, um, medium hardish on this, and they're not going anywhere. So, and the, again, it's been pressed on. It's been. Moved in and out, all kinds of things. A little seed envelope. Nothing in there, so you can fill it with what you like. Again, another hard back tag. A little um, bit of lace belly band. This is the middle of the third signature. And a lovely bookmark or place to do writings. Um, you can stick a long stalked flower to the back of that and then slide it in and it'll stay safe and secure. <clears throat> Open this one. This is the Tim Holtz die and a piece of little ribbon trim flowers. A piece of purple. And little tag done. You can use the purple side or the silver side. This is metal, art metal, but it was die cut and the edges were sand. So it is not rough. It will not catch on things. Didn't cut myself. Hooray! A little specimen tag with some these are vintage beads all three of them uh, some really beautiful washi tape and here is a this is an envelope flip out there's another really nice piece of ephemera in here Again, from, mm, I don't show you this. This one's just a book page. So, but it's still vintage. And I love this bee stamp. And we have a little tuck spot here. The little tag. I love these giant botanical stamps as well. This flips over. And you have this I did with a stencil and some black embossing paste and filled in with some pastels. It is stapled on. So a little piece of vintage, an old book page. And some printouts from the old design shop there on Etsy. I just love their floral designs. A nice place for writing. Another large stamp that I painted in and put a little bit of sparkle on. Flip over and here's a water lily journaling card. This is a Crafter's Companion double-sided die. And again, another piece of variegated ivy. And this is, and 
you can see I don't throw anything out. These are the insides to this uh, little ladder tuck pocket die, which I made in extended little individual belly bands. So you can take things in and out. Some pieces of ephemera of fussy cut digitals from Angela Kerr designs in there that you can put places where you wish or keep it in there. Even the tiniest of flowers can have the toughest roots. And another mushroom page. This one is so cute. I colored that in again with colored pencils. Some washi. And just a little piece of ephemera from the book page. And again, a wax stamp. A pineapple that's been gilded over and it's holding down the variegated ivy leaf which has not been coated but is still pretty darn tough in another there's a pocket with a pocket this is a seeds die it's an old spellbinders die i believe and this has some old little information pages for plants that in there there you go a little cute mushroom outline washi stamp um, some a lavender picture with some die cuts and washi sticker and another one of the old design shop printables this envelope has another hard back tag, some stenciled on paper, calligraphy paper, doesn't have to be for calligraphy, another tag, birdies, I think that's calico collage, and a seed packet. Again, I wrote in Latin on there. You can look up what it means. And there is a very nice leaf petal in there. So these were facing this way and this was facing this way because little washi stamp, some fussy cuts. And that goes back in there. I really like the combination of this brad with these two ribbons. Okay, and let's kind of do that. And then another big coloring that I did. And that is the end of volume three. So this is, will be up in my shop, which is moonfirestudios.shop. I have a blog and I am also on Instagram and Facebook. All the links will be in the description box below. So thank you for taking the time to go through this huge jungus botanical botanist journal set with me. So hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. <music>